Hello and welcome to the foodie. You're watching the Healthy Bean series and I am Sid Kular. Today we're going to make a desi version of almond pesto pasta. I'm sure you've heard about pesto. It's a classic Italian condiment which dalta hai basil, cheese, pine nuts, garlic and olive oil. But we have many people who want to eat Italian food and want to eat masala dar. So this is just for you guys, desi style pesto with whole wheat pasta. Alright then, here's the plan. First we're going to put some pasta into the water and get it boiling. Now we have a little bit of water in the water. Now we have to add it depending on your packet instructions, about 10 minutes, it will be ready. Pasta is done, now let's take it out of the water. Okay, now the pasta is done, time for the pesto. Instead of basil, I'm going to put in some coriander. And now, garlic for which there is no replacement. And then we have some sesame seeds. I will put it in a little bit and I will put it in so that you can see the white sesame seeds in the green color basil. And now, some black pepper. Some de-seeded green chilies. It's a chili but it doesn't have hotness. And now, some almonds. These almonds have been soaked in hot water and peeled. It's been removed from their chili and I'll be using them in this now. And some Parmesan cheese, which is one of the stars of this dish. And here's some extra virgin olive oil. In my opinion, there is no other oil that matches the beautiful taste and fragrance of this particular oil. And finally, some salt. Dakkan lagaye, aur mixi ko on kare. It smells absolutely divine. As you have noticed, some of the cheese inside has not fully been ground. And you will be tempted to add more oil in it. There is no need. All you have to do is just mix it with a spoon because the cheese is first grated. Now let's mix the pesto with the pasta. Now the pasta is a little cold. We will add it in a frying pan. We will put the pesto on its cover. We will toss the pesto on its cover. We will put it in a bowl and it is ready for dinner. Okay guys, that's done. And it's really delicious, it smells brilliant. And did you see how easy that was? That was really, really simple. We're at the last stage of our pasta meal here and the last step is always some Parmesan. There's very little that can actually replace this cheese. And here we are, some lovely pesto pasta. Now, some people will say, why do you add the cheese inside? Why do you add the cheese inside? But that's because there's nothing such as too much Parmesan, is it? Anyway, here we are. Somewhat desi, somewhat Italian, 100% delicious pesto pasta for you. And I hope you enjoy it.
it's Friday night and I'm having a house party at home. Everything else has been taken care of, but I left one thing for the last minute. I am going to make a quick party snack and I'm going to make nachos with beans and cheese. So for the nachos, I'm using the store bought ones because I thought let's make life simple. And I'm going to pour these refried beans. This is nothing but rajma. Ye aap ghar mein bhi bana sakte hain. But because I had so much to cook today, I got this tin from the market. And what else but cheese? So generally in Mexican food, cheddar cheese is used, but because I'm out of it, I'm using mozzarella. And nachos are incomplete without salsa. I'm going to quickly show you how to make it on your own. Directly in your blending jar, take some onions. Roughly chopped because anyways all of it is getting blended. Lots of tomatoes. Choose nice rich red tomatoes. Some dhania. Green chilies. Some cloves of garlic. And some alopino. To this, I'm going to add some salt, some lemon juice. This will add a lovely tang to it. That's it. This all goes together. So I'm going to make a chunky salsa. So I'm not going to puree it completely. I'm just going to pulse it. And we are done. This is the consistency of salsa that I like. आप चाहें तो इसे और ग्राइंड करके प्योरे की तरह बना सकते हैं. In an oven-proof dish, spread some nachos. You know, sometimes you want to make things from scratch, but sometimes you get divine pleasure from just assembling it. All right, and then some beans on top. I'm going to grate some cheese. I'm doing it in two layers and I want everybody to get all the cheese and beans. On top of this, another layer of nachos. Some more refried beans. If you have a lot of people coming over, you can make it in a big big dish. Mein bana sakte hai. And this gets over in like no time. And of course, more cheese on top. As you can see, I clearly love cheese, but who doesn't? This is all set. So I don't have any Mexican seasoning with me, but I'll tell you a simple thing that you can do. Some cumin powder, jeera powder that we have in our homes. So you can put the seasoning even after once they have been baked, but I'm kind of in a hurry here. I'm going to pop these in the oven for around two to three minutes. I kept them in the oven only for three minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Things can't get easier than this. The salsa goes on top. Some more alpinos. That's it. Nachos with beans and cheese is ready.